Hello and welcome to this video on the N function in Excel. This function is one that does not get spoken about much. So many people are not aware even of its existence. So I thought it's about time I do a video on it. So what is the N function? Well, looking at these example values in column A, if I was going to start the N function in cell B2, it tells us that its job is to convert a value to a number, dates to serial numbers, true to one, and anything else is returned as zero. So looking at how it works here, seeing it in action, if I was to run this N function and provide the values in column A and run this down, it does as it says. We can see the text value being returned as a zero, the date as a serial number, and we can see the true and false returned as one and zero. So that's what it does, but why would we use this? Let's see some practical examples. So what I've got here is a list of dates in column B, and we want to use the sum product to return the number of occurrences of a specific month. And you can see we have the sum product formula in cell E2 at the moment, but it's not working. It's returning the result of zero, but we can see that there are two dates for October. Now, why is this not working at the moment? Well, if I select the expression in this sum product and manually calculate that, if I click formulas and calculate now, we can do that with the F9 key as well. And it shows me an array of true and false results. And some products cannot sum those values. They need to be converted to ones and zeros. Now we know that the N function does that. So if I just press escape to abort that formula, and I'm going to wrap the N function around that logical expression, so that now when I press enter, it achieves the result of two. And this is because that N function, if I come back and manually calculate that part again, is converting the false to zero and the true to a one, which can then be summed. So that is a way that the N function can be used. But to be honest, I don't see it used in that manner much. Uh, do you use it like that? Let me know in the comments. What most people would do as I escape that is instead of using the N function, it's generally more common to see people put a double unary in there uh, to convert them to ones and zeros, or they'll perform a simple mathematical calculation like plus zero multiplied by one, some kind of calculation that doesn't affect the value. So why do people use the N function? Well, the most common use is to put comments into your formula, to be able to document the formula within the formula. So if I come back to this formula one more time, and I'm going to put a plus sign on the end of that logical expression and just start a new line with Alt and Enter, and we can use the end function to display some text. Because we know from the previous examples that text is returned as zero. So it allows us to write text without affecting the result of a formula. So I can type something here, such as the month cell contains a date that is formatted as a month. Because you might be thinking, how does this work, Alan? Cell D2 has October written in it. Well, it doesn't. It has a date written in it. We're extracting the month from that and it's formatted to show the month. So I can now put that information in there for my colleagues and other users to notice, yet it does not affect the value, the result of that formula. And that is how most people use the N function uh, as a tool to provide some comments and some documentation within the formula itself as an alternative to inserting comments in a cell or using the name manager, where you're able to put a description in there for things like your Lambda functions. 
But an example like this, I can put it in the formula. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be kept updated with my latest videos, subscribe to this channel so that you are kept informed. Take care and I'll see you again soon.